Hi folks, so as part of our shop overhaul in 2020, and by the way, because it's 2020, we're gonna move six feet apart. We realized that having big tables is not a good thing because they end up looking like this. And that's supposed to be our assembly table, but it ends up becoming a QC table or just a junk pile table. Uh, similarly, our shipping table really needed a redesign. And so many of you have been kind enough to forward Uline catalogs to me uh, that we saw a shipping table that looked really nice. Uh, but when you price the whole thing out, it ended up being pretty darn expensive. Uh, and we're at that point where we balance continuing to be a bootstrapper at heart, but also not taking on DIY projects. And so in an awesome turn of events, we threw up a picture on Instagram, kind of nerding out over how excited we were for this shipping table. And David from MakerPipe chimed in. Uh, we started to get to know what some of the players in this space of basically using different types of pipe to build your own tables. But what I liked about MakerPipe was you can use locally sourced EMT conduit, a uh, three quarter inch conduit, and um, you can get it at the big box stores, but our local supply house stocked red at about 80 cents a foot. So can you tell us what's Maker Pipe? What's your story? We've been working on Maker Pipe for about four years. We did a Kickstarter and now it turned into an actual business. And we manufacture these fittings and allow people to build whatever they need to out of ordinary pipe. He's being too humble. They figured out how to machine the stamping dies to actually stamp these, am I right? <laughs> yep, that's right. Yeah, we got a quote first for $100,000 for all the stamping dies we needed, and that wasn't gonna happen. So uh, we, we got a grizzly drill mill, converted it to CNC, and then we were off and running. And we've progressed a little since then. Yeah. And that's that's where I found you and your channel, and that helped tr a tremendous amount. But you're, you're buying, steel, strip steel, and feeding it in and going kerchunk with, with a press or a hydraulic cylinder or something. Yep, exactly. And, and chunking these things out. Yep, done in South Carolina. So cool. Awesome. When David saw the post and said, hey, we'd love to help you, I thought, look, how do we make this a win-win? We're excited to get these tables built. I wanted his brain, his experience, his expertise. So I said, we'll, we'll buy all the stuff. And they said, we'll happily come up and help you design your first few tables. So what we realized is we need dedicated assembly tables. So now we have a Modvice cart, and on that cart, we've got the tools and the resources and the supplies that we need, both uh, the real-time supplies, but also the breadcrumbs, the additional parts, the additional fasteners. The red bins that we had been storing on these racks, which are great, are gonna go onto the dedicated product carts, which is just even better. Um, everything's on wheels, so that gives us the ability to move stuff around, whether it's for cleaning, redesigning the shop, uh, and then they really went all out on the shipping table. Uh, we actually kind of printed out that U-line photo and just sort of said, okay, this is what we like, this is what we don't like. Uh, do we want to tilt rolls vertically that makes them easier to reload? We want our sticky tape recessed here. We want a computer arm monitor mount here. Like Julie got involved, uh, Ed got involved, I got involved. It was super fun and then these guys, you guys made it happen. Yeah, that was the most fun is meeting the team, working with your team and figuring out the work that you guys do yeah. and how to make it more efficient, easier for you guys to do that work. Awesome. So what's, what are a couple of the big questions you get from people that are thinking about doing DIY builds on tables or custom organization solutions with a maker pipe product? What, one of the biggest is how to plan it. Okay. Right? What connectors do I need? I mean, they understand that they can uh, splice connectors together, or splice yep. conduit together, connect it, yep. but how do I make this huge table, right? What mm -hmm. is, what's the planning process? So that's mm -hmm. a big thing that we help customers out with. You guys offer that as kind of a complimentary service or you have resources? Our goal is to help people with their project, uh -huh. however that might manifest itself. Okay. You know, just like we came up to help you guys, if we could, yeah. we do that for pretty much anybody okay. awesome. in any way we can. Well, and I started paying attention to their social media and their website after they reached out and I saw that they had these little 3D printed, like kind of like straws and connectors. and. It's interesting because you could argue you don't need that, you know, is it really going to help? And it does. It gives you the chance to huddle with your team, evaluate a build. I don't know that it's going to scale up perfectly, like it's not going to give you your exact quarter to length, quarter inch cut lengths, but it lets you sort of see, okay, if we tip this rack for the bins or we have a shelf here for the tape or we put it on wheels or what's the overall height and the feel, it adds a lot of value and takes very little time. Yep, and it's iterative too. I mean, we the first build we did here 
we had the model, yeah. we checked it out, the whole team looked at it and right. said, no, we want to change this, this is more, and then you build it and you still have that chance to change it, yeah. right? Right. Yeah, and for, for me, seeing other people's work and building off of that is the key. Um, so we'll put, throw a link in the description to, they've got a website with a bunch of build examples, but two of the things that we've already built um, that were kind of outside of the traditional table design, um, we kind of have a hot rack here for plates that come off the machines where the first plate, or the last plate to come off the machine can sit here horizontally, and then they can get indexed over to here. Now, it's a balance because we want to move a plate as few times as possible, you know, channel your inner Jay Pearson here. On the flip side, we need a system, a process, so that um, we don't have to necessarily talk to each other. That sounds bad. But um, you can know that, okay, this is now ready to go to QC, and then packaging, well, let's make QC and packaging the same way, and then let's have a way to get the barcode done so that we can move it straight into the inventory rack. And, and we're not done with this yet, but we're starting to think, see things click together. Um, the other thing we did is, also for fixture plates, is a very interesting style rack that has vertical storage for our boxes that are uh, inner and outer boxes, as well as a riser post system that lets us access the periphery of that box so that we can put either filament tape or banding around it without having to jockey the plate, lift the plate, move the plate. Um, much easier and more elegant solution there. But like I said, we did the shipping table, we did a custom, couple of custom tables, and then we did the more traditional kind of product or part assembly tables that look more like a traditional workstation where we've got a table and access to the tools and, and parts and accessories that you need, uh, which we're really excited about. So, David, thanks for coming up. We appreciate you guys helping. I love the entrepreneurial story, the hustle, the, the figure it out, the I can't swing 100 grand, so let's go buy a machine and dive in. And it sounds like it's going pretty well. It's going good, and thanks for all your help, all your inspiration along the way. Having us in your shop, it really means a lot to us. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Well, we'll do, we'll redon the mask and we'll do the uh, COVID bump. But seriously, best of luck. And we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted on, on the tables that we uh, continue to build and, and where we go with it. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody.